Hi friends, welcome back. We are continuing the Tropico Land mission in Tropico 6. In the last video, we worked on building up our industry and we're going to continue that in this video. And also we're going to work on tourism and really building up the tourism over here on this little island. I'm going to try to focus it mostly on this and then I will eventually spread it out further to some of the other islands. So let's go ahead and get started. I do see right now that I'm getting attacked here. So what I want to do is make sure that I have some good defenses in place right now to um, to work on keeping all of my important buildings safe from being attacked and demolished by these little gorilla people. So I do want to build <clears throat> I do want to build a barracks. Probably an army base and uh, some more uh, watchtowers once I am able to gather up the money. I believe we have some watchtowers. I don't know if I have any good defense buildings. I can't remember if I built them. So to find out if I did, I can go over here to the almanac, buildings list, government, and... Oh, sorry, excuse me. Raids and military... So I do have one fort. Yeah, I have one fort and I have three watchtowers. The fort, where are you located? Okay, there you are. You're all the way over there. So at least I have the one. You can see that they're marching over here to go take care of these guys way over there. It's going to take them a while to get there. So let's hit play and we will just watch and wait and see what happens here. My watchtower is going to start engaging them. These guys are coming off this way. Let me see. I can't really upgrade anything to help them out. These guys are going to attack, what, this house? One of these houses looks like. This poor little guy. It's like, my house, my house. So this is our army now coming to, like, take care of these jerks over here. These people are running the wrong way. All right, so I'm going to hit speed up and... Hopefully, I get some good cash in right now. We're going to get about 36000 from this tanker that's pulling in. So that makes me um, above around $10,000 that I can use now. So, first priority, barracks. Barracks? Am I saying it? Barracks? Barracks? One of those words. So I want to put one of those down kind of by the palace because that's the most important building. You do not want the palace to get destroyed because you will automatically lose the game if that does happen. So I'm going to do one there. And maybe, well, I only have $2,000 left. So we'll leave it at that for now. Um, I want to just come over here and check the tourism here. It looks like we're kind of hurting for people to come and... Oh, you know why? <laughs> so whenever you get t attacked by gorillas, all the tourists escape the island. They get they go away. So this is going to... Getting attacked by gorillas is going to hurt our um, tourism. Because they will leave right away. And then we will have to like wait for them to start coming back in and populating those buildings again. So we do want to take care of the gorilla risk. So right now the rebel threat is around medium. So we need to make people happier. We are only at 33 support. So people are pretty pissed off at us. And that's why we're probably getting attacked a whole lot. So let's check it out. Let's see what is what um, do people want? One of the main issues now is the Caribbean happiness um, was above us. So that's why people are kind of pissed off. They're like, everybody else is happier than we are. So 
what I'm doing to make this red line go down is I'm using the Commando Garrison over here. And we are sending them on um, Intimidate Neighbors repeatedly. So that is going to decrease the Caribbean happiness by 5%. This is a huge... I use this in every single mission because it's really the only way I can keep the happiness down while I'm building up my industry and trying to make other make the whole island happier in general. Um, so that's a very important resource to use right from the start. So as they continue to intimidate the neighbors and this line continues to go down, our support will go up. So right now it's right at the line. And so the next mission, it'll go just below it. But it's going to take some time. So we have to sit, just sit and wait and watch and keep our eye out and try to make more money in the meantime. A spate of vandalism has been denounced the by the grills are attacking again. Poor people simply don't understand the pressures of wealth, a spokesperson said. So what we're going to have to do is try to lift up the happiness a little bit more so that the rebels want to, the, the people stop wanting to become rebels. So let's go here. I'm going to check out special citizens and I can see that I have about 10 rebels, three criminals, and then these are all the faction leaders here. So these are all special kind of um, citizens that you can look up and find. Um, it would be a good idea for me to build a prison of some sort and we could try to rehabilitate those rebels. That might help. Um, I do need money to do that. So <laughs> this is kind of one of those missions where you really have to just kind of wait for the money to roll in and slowly start building up all these things that you need here. So, okay, let's see where can... So for now I can do a dungeon because the dungeon is fairly cheap. So I'm going to put the dungeon... <sighs> let's put it over here by the palace. I'm going to have a little palace dungeon-y area. Okay, and I'm going to put high priority build on that, even though I don't really have anything else getting built at the moment. This does need to be repaired. Uh, I am getting in money. Slowly, money is starting to come in. Uh, oh, I do need to invite some people to my embassies. The EU, I have a mission down here to invite the EU to one of my embassies. So I'm going to do that first. Let me pause. EU, okay. Your help is so now, President I can take I'm uncover a some hidden work. roles, uh, a random regime tool, or I can take the money, which I kind of need. So I'm going to do the money. Because the other problem is now that this is built, I'm going to have to pay to arrest people. And I do want to do that right now. So, special citizens, I'm going to go to the rebels again, and I'm going to... Nice weather. Go and... Oh, shoot. I have to build a courthouse in order to... Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Okay. Courthouse is right there. This is going to take all my money. Yeah. That's going to take all the monies. Fine. We got to do it. Let's see. Where can I put you that I don't need you in the way here? Can I put you? Hmm. All right, it's gonna have to be over here somewhere. All right, we'll wait for that to get built, and then I will start arresting people. So while I'm at, while that's happening, I kind of just want to check out the happiness again and see what's um, housing is pretty low right now. So housing and fun are the two that I really need to start working on to raise happiness. Housing and fun. Um, raids. Let me make sure all the raids are going. Yes. Uh, so you know what? This might not be a bad one to get for this particular map. 
citizens cannot have diehard political reviews any um of views excuse me anymore so they'll be more inclined to be indifferent um it will increase tourist ratings which we do need and provides fun for the citizens so that's not a bad one to try and get this one makes trees grow um, this one is prevents people from dying from bad health care uh, children gain high school education and this one is great if you have a really high military mission because anyone who comes to the island to attack you will come to attack the Great Wall, but they'll never be able to destroy it. So it'll save all of your other buildings. But I don't necessarily need that for this one. I think the diehard views is more important maybe. So I'm going to send them on that mission and... I'm not going to do these guys just this mission just yet. I just kind of want to look and see what they have. So this is another one. Buildings receive less damage. You could get that. Um, if you do, I wouldn't get this one if you decide to go for the Great Wall. Because that would be kind of pointless. Uh, increase the speed of boats. Increases tourism. Broadcast non-standard radio and TV programs. Okay. Uh, so I would most likely, once I'm ready for them to go out and do this mission, I'd most likely get the Taj Mahal. Because then every dead citizen, I'll get their fortune. And I'm, we need the money. We need money. So I'm going to steal from the people. That's fine, right? That's okay. We are a dictator, aren't we? Alright, let's see. Uh, I do have some money coming in, so I'm going to upgrade some buildings. Let's see. Upgrade. Modernize weaponry. Shh. Maybe not yet. Maybe I'm just going to look around and wait a little bit for that. Um... Let's make sure we're hiring Some brokers so that we're getting uh, money into our Swiss bank. Either they, they, I hired them, but either they died or they quit. Um, most likely they died. All right, so we haven't had any attacks for a little while. Looks like something needs to be rebuilt. The watchtower, okay. So let's see, we are starting to get um tourists and stuff coming in again so that's good that's probably what's helping with our money here all right courthouse has been built so let's go back to the almanac go to our special citizens and look i have 12 rebels right now i want to get them all arrested let me be so let's see how much room I have in the one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I only have room for about eight people in here at a time. They don't stay in there forever. They do eventually get released. Okay, some trade licenses. Ooh, look at we got sixty-seven thousand monies. That's great. Alright, so I do believe we are making apparel. I do need to double check this though. So, let me go back to the buildings, um, industry. Yes, so fashion company, they make apparel. So I can take that one. I have the rum, lumber mill, jewelry, which is great. Uh, fashion, textile, mill, juicery, shipyard. We got some good industry going right now. So let's see, I'm going to take this apparel um, so I can, uh, mostly so I can improve the relationship that I have with the U.S. I'm going to take the boats probably for the same reason. Let's see. 
Um, I'm going to open a couple more of these trades here. And I kind of want to get one of each of all of the um, political peoples here. So I do want to come and check our relations here in the foreign relations tab. So everyone's kind of like meh. They're not super duper happy with me. These people are the least happiest, Russia. So I do want to kind of try to improve their relations with me here. So I can invite them here to this other embassy. Praise them a little bit. I want to praise you. And then because I praise them and they're above 72, I can ask for financial aid from them. Which is immediately going to reduce their relations with me. But I got some money from them. And this one, and this one, and this. Import trade Good. route with the EU. Can do, do that. Import. Okay. Reports of downtown vandalism are greatly exaggerated. The fashionable, new, distressed architecture style is apolitical and proves okay. nothing anyway, the palace says. So, e, they want me to do an import trade with the EU. So, I can do cotton. And it's really not going to help me out except for to um, finish this mission, unfortunately. So I'll just go ahead and do the smallest one there. So now I could um, also increase my relations with Russia by importing some pineapple. And it's not going to cost me extra, but it's not going to make me money either. So what I can do is import it and then just export it or, you know, let people eat it in the in the town or whatever, whatever it does. But it's going to it's only going to give me plus five in the relations, but then also negative two for all these other um, political factions here. So. I could export some chocolate. I do believe we're making chocolate. Um. Yeah, let's do that one instead. Let's see, I got two with the EU, one with Russia, one with the US, and one with the Middle East. So let's do cigars with <coughs> China. Or I could do leather. Mm -hmm. Nah. Rubber. Yep. No, we're going to do the cigars. And then that's it for now. And then I just need to make sure that we're making cigars because I don't even know if I planted a cigar factory. Back industry. Nope. So let's go ahead and put one of those down. Cigar factory. I'm gonna put it over here because this is where we're probably producing. Well, actually, no, I'll put it down here. Right there is good because um, I actually do want to start putting down more of these hydroponic plantations. So I'm going to do tobacco right next door. Oops, that's not hydroponic. Here we go. I'm going to do tobacco right next door. And <clears throat> while I'm at it, I might want to add a few more teamsters offices because they're going to start to get real bogged down with all of these um industry buildings that they have to run out to and pick stuff up and bring it to the other buildings and i don't want them to slow down at all i want them to just keep on keep it on so i'm going to build a few of these i'm going to check and see how these guys are doing let's upgrade you to increase the efficiency. Command of the garrison. Would any of these be of interest to you? It's all strictly above board, of course. So I might go ahead and unlock the um, blueprint here for the gourmet restaurant. 
Let's see. Let's see if we have any requests. Uh, sabotage EU? Nah. I don't like doing that right away. Issue penal colony edict. I don't necessarily want to do that either because that really increases the uh, the crime rate. So I'm going to just discard those. All right, let's check on our research and see what's happening. Um, yeah, we've researched quite a good amount of stuff right now. And I do need to start implementing some of these. Like we got state loans, free wills, wealth tax. I'm going to do audience, building permit. Let's see. Diplomatic super party is going to be good. National day. Hang gliding. Pharmaceutical companies. I do want to plant one of those as quickly as I can. So I'm unlocking this. Uh, the work mode is basically what all these. There's different work modes down here that we're unlocking. Some of the work modes are throwaways, but some of them are pretty good. Uh, trop mm, Tropicoin farm. Let's do that one. Electronics factory, we might look into that. All right. All right, let's go to the edicts. And actually, I'm, I'm out of money, so I can't really do a lot of edicts right now. What I could do is go to the broker and maybe exchange some of my Swiss money for real money. If I wanted to. But that's really only going to set me at zero. And I don't know if I want to do that just yet. I'm going to wait and see what I get here from this. Yeah, we're about to go up to 36,000 in expected revenue here. Which isn't super great. Well, 40,000. Okay, that's better. So I'm at 16. I want to hit pause because I want to try to set some buildings down before um, taxes and stuff gets my monies. So what I do want is... Um, Quite a few of these. I want all of these actually eventually, but the pharmaceutical company, which processes oil to produce pharmaceuticals. Uh, I'm going to unlock that. Uh, and then next time I get a good amount of money, I can place that. Plastics uh, produces, processes oil to produce plastics. Steel meal. We do want to start getting steel in and then the weapons factory. So that's something I want to unlock now while I can. And I'll unlock that. And that'll basically use up most of my money here. So I'm going to hit play. And then we're going to wait. And then once I get more money in, I'm going to start planting some of those industry buildings. So, gorillas are back. Let's see, this dungeon is totally full. So, There's do you also want to build. The Tropican streets today called Rebellion. However, the palace warns that without yeah, any I do also want to play, build a, either a second illegal. dungeon or I want to build um, is it government. Oh, there it is, prison. But I do have to unlock that as well. So. We'll see how far I get with that. Okay. Oh, we just got a good trade route finished. Do not be intimidated by my vast fortune, Presidente. Invite my Middle East to the embassy. Yes, we can do that eventually. Although we are still waiting for. All right. So we're up seventeen, and so now I do want to start placing some of these more important um, industry buildings like steel mill. But before I do that, I want to make sure I do it close to where I'm producing. Let's see the 
coal I'm producing right around there. So it takes coal and iron. So there's the coal. Where am I producing iron? Iron is right there. So kind of on this, maybe right around here would be a middle middle ground for it. Steel meal right there. For some reason I can't place it. I guess there's a rocky area. Okay, I see. Steel mill is going to go right around here. Yeah. Want it there? I guess I do, yeah. I hate to lose this, like, space here. Okay. Oh, here's a good spot. Nice and out. That's a great spot for it right there because this can be used for something else. That's a nice spot for a larger building. So, which actually um, is going to go... The weapons factory is where, is where that's going to go. So that's perfect. Now for the weapons factory, uh, they take steel and nickel. So I do want to make sure that I'm producing nickel. That's going to be very important. So, <clears throat> nickel is way over there. And then there's one over here. So, let's see. For the nickel, where would be the easiest? Voyage. This might be easier to get to. I'll do both. Screw it. I'll just place them both once I can see what I'm going to get here. Almost 50,000. So that's going to come in right about now. All right, there we go. So let's do a quickie little, I'm going to do a small mine for now and then I can upgrade it later. This is going to cost some monies. And I'm going to do one here and one there. And then I just need to connect the roads. <clears throat> and then we're going to connect this guy. So now we have all the resources about to be completed to be able to produce weapons, which is going to be a really good export resource for us. The palace declares cryptocurrency to be unpatriotic. If it doesn't have a picture of El Presidente on it, it's not currency. We are receiving news that surprisingly organized vandals have damaged civic buildings in Torpico. Do not be alarmed. This is categorically not a rebel attack. Presidente, wait. Did I not have you shot? Oh, no. I remember. I had a change of heart. This is kind of an easy one to do. Build a small park near the Russian embassy. That's fine. So I'm going to go here, find a small park, size S. And I believe this is the I Russian embassy. And boom, we just made $2,000. And then I can just go in and delete this guy. All right, so I want to build more uh, embassies around. So let's build just right straight down here, I think is good for a couple of those.
the citizens are demanding elections, President Davis. All right, election time. I am going to acknowledge that people are don't have enough happiness, fun happiness. I'm going to praise, let's see, the environmentalist, and I'm going to blame no one and promise nothing and deliver this. Tropical. All right, okay, so we got some embassies here. I'm going to invite the U.S., and I'm going to invite, uh, let's see, China, and then I'll build one for that last. And then if I want to increase uh, the, the approval here. Oh, look, we're at 75 for Russia, so I'm going to ask for financial aid from them. And then if I want to improve the relations here, I can I can praise for 5000 each, which is costly. But if you need it, then you can do that. And now let's invite the Middle East. And we've got all of them set. Presidente, you are a good friend. But my I'm going to take the Swiss bank money eight. here. Do not blame yourself. And then let's start upgrading some buildings. Uh, I want to increase the efficiency here of that building there. So we're going to do that. An impromptu vandalism competition ended in victory today for the Tropican rebels as they beat the local authorities by two whole walls. Increase the fee. Sure. Let's put down some more entertainment buildings. Let's put down a circus. Everybody loves a circus. Let's try to put that somewhere where it's kind of out of the way. Sure, right there. Maybe we'll put one over here as well. And what else? What else? Oh, you know what I want to do? Let's see. I unlocked, I unlocked that. I unlocked that. I really want the pharmaceutical company, but I don't have enough money just yet for that. I know I have a jewelry. Plastics. Let's make sure we're producing some oil. Because we are going to need that. So let me put down an oil thingy if I can. Oil rig right over here. And we'll just do one for now since that's all the money I'm I sure have. Good citizens of Tropico intend to vote for you, President. So we're actually at 61% support many, right now, which is times. good. So I don't have to uh, steal the election. So we can allow the citizens to vote. Which is definitely going to help with liberty. Oh, I, th I did have an oil rig, but they destroyed it, those jerks. It's going to cost me a lot of money to rebuild that, too. The election is a landslide, Presidente. The metaphorical kind, not the kind that accidentally reduces the size of the workforce. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and go back to energy efficient here. Now let's check out these edicts. Um, I do want to start doing some edicts. One that's really going to help us is the free wheels. That is going to be huge because um, that allows the poor citizens to use cars. So they can get to their jobs faster and um, get to their homes faster or wherever they're going. So that is definitely a huge. Uh, I do want to take state loans. Oh, fortunate. I am going to also do the building permit so that I can start getting more money into the Swiss bank account. Residente. Uh, oh, nep, speedway. We definitely want that because that's now going to increase the speed of the vehicle. So that's important. Um, let's see. Employee of the month. 
I want to do because um, that's going to make people working in the mines do double shifts. Hey, and then last one I'm going to do is church fee for now, I think. I don't, I'm not sure if I have a lot of filthy rich people in order to enact that. We can always double check that here, I believe. Yes. Um, so we have like four filthy rich people. So it's not really worth it to enact that just yet because it's not really going to help us out that much anyways. Let's see. We only have eight broke people. That's pretty good. That is not bad at all. Vacant jobs. So we do have quite a few vacant jobs. And that is because everyone is way too educated. It's all the um, uneducated workplaces that need employees. Which is why you want to keep your population stupid. So that they will work dumb menial jobs. And if you want more people to work these dumb menial jobs, you are going to have to go in and bump up the, the pay. So we're going to have to raise the minimum wage in order to get people to want to work at these places. There's also some upgrades we can do that sometimes will increase um, the, what is it called? The job quality. So this is why nobody wants to work there because the quality of the job is really, really bad. So some of the upgrades, um, you know, it can cre increase efficiency or whatever, or I can just go ahead and modernize this and turn it into um, a modern mine, which will require, I believe it requires educated workers instead of uneducated workers. So because it's a gold mine, this is a very important mine for my industry. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to upgrade that. And I believe it's over here. We can watch it get upgraded. Yep, there it goes. Upgraded. So now, job quality is 52. It requires electricity. So we can go even further and um, upgrade this building. Increase the efficiency by 10%. And then the upgrade up, upkeep is going to be increased also. So we'll go ahead and upgrade that, and then we should start be pro we should start to produce gold a lot faster once I get the electricity network balance back up. So while we are doing that, I might as well go ahead and do either a nuclear power plant, uh, a regular power plant or some offshore wind turbines, which um, they, it can only be built on water. It's pretty expensive, and I don't have to use up resources for this. Um, or I could just go with another couple of regular wind turbines. So for now, I'm going to do that because I only need about 36 um, extra was it megawatts so we'll do a couple more of these guys over here and see if we can just bump that up to the bare minimum that we need without spending too much money and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna build a vehicle factory that's another really good one to set down Start making money off of vehicles. So we got steel going. We've got weapons going. We're about to get vehicles going. Uh, I may want to upgrade the coal mine since we're going to start using a lot more coal. And probably the iron mine as well. Let's see. We want to make sure we're producing a good amount of rubber. 
Where is the... There's the rubber. Okay, so... We got a good amount of workers here in the rubber plantation. For some reason, not a lot of workers over here. So, I may want to start... Once I get more money in, I may want to start trying to hire some uneducated workers. And get them into the... I may also want to stop um, allowing kids to get educated also. An impromptu vandalism competition ended in victory today for the Tropican Rebels <laughs> as they beat the local authorities by two whole walls. And immediately, they are attacking my vehicle factory and my weapons factory. Darn you, darn you, darn you. Okay. It is such a burden being the heir to an unimaginable fortune. Let's check out our trades. We have one available. Middle East is still going. Um, let's see what else we can do real quick. Do we have apparel? Yeah, we're still doing apparel. Chocolate cigars, both apparel and gold. Gold is going to take forever. <clears throat> let's see what we can do real quick here. If anything, hides maybe? Steel, no, because I'm using steel. Probably do rum. So I'm going to come here and I need some money pretty quick, pretty badly. So I'm going to come here and change some of my Swiss money to real money. That's only going to help me a little bit at this moment. So what I want to do is put down a watchtower over here for my very important buildings. I'm going to put a couple around here. And I'm going to put down another fire station. Circuses, I'm going to change the work mode to Beasts and Blood. And the reason for that is because um, visitor slots are decreased by five. Yeah, visitor slots are decreased to five per employee worker, and the fee is increased by two. increase the budget here try to get more workers to come to the island an official palace statement says it depends on how hard you're working citizen okay we got kind of a good uh, freighter in, so I do want to take care of some of these missions that I have had sitting here for a little bit. So, modernize ranch, I can do that really quickly over here. Just to upgrade this building. Build a movie theater, we'll do that next. 
Now I'm going to take the really money because I need that <laughs> still. We could build a roller coaster. Uh, Spy Academy seems a bit more important right now. So I want to do that. If I can, if I, I might just be able to unlock it. Nope, I can build it. Okay, so we're going to put the Spy Academy over here next to the Commando Garrison. I'm going to want to start building some housing again for these people because I'm, I'm noticing a lot of shacks are popping up. So we're going to put down maybe a couple of these. Okay, so the overall happiness of the, the Caribbean is now starting to go down and it's starting to stay down below our blue line. Our blue line hasn't been going up much because I haven't been able to build a whole lot of um, fun buildings. I haven't been able to build a whole lot of housing because I'm still working on getting the industry up and running. So what I can do is I can put down this World Wonders um, and I can, that which will keep citizens from having die-hard political views. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to see if I can stick it over here, kind of where I want um, all my tourists to be. So maybe over here. Nope, it's not going to fit there. This is going to be, okay, maybe here. Um, or maybe I want to stick it over here for these for our main people to have a place to go. Which is, there's not a lot of space there either. That's the problem you're going to run into, is you're going to start running out of space for a lot of the items. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to put it right there. Yeah, we'll put you right there. As you can see, it's going to come we and drop that, that in there. That the tropicans were desperate for construction of an 18th century style neoclassical monument. Well, the wait is finally over. All right. I do want to put a little bridge over here. Okay, we got a really good trade in. Now we're up 50,000. That's really great because I do want to place the pharmaceutical company right now. Let's see where I can fit you. It'd be nice if I could just fit you right in there. You know, I guess you'll go right around there. It's fine. And then. I want to rebuild this oil. Ask for financial aid whenever you can. So if you're up, that is way down. That is not good. I need to improve the EU. But if you're up above 70, you can ask for financial aid. And you always want to do that because it doesn't hurt. Okay, we have some more research points. So I can come in here and kind of look and see what can help us. So legalized substances. Um, tourists pay an additional $1 in uh, every time they have to pay a fee. This is going to increase the liberty, which is huge. Increase thrill-seeking tourists and relaxation tourist ratings. And, of course, it's going to piss off the religious people. But who cares about them? That's all I'm saying. Okay, legalized substances. Let's research that. Marriage rights. Uh, we can do that. That's going to help the tourists. Oh, I'm sorry, not the tourists. The um, liberty as well.
So we can do that. Inspiring billboard. That's something that I could put more down. That can help us um, with our support. Which we're actually not doing too bad, are we? Look, at 73. That's not too bad at all. Um, yeah, that's not bad at all. Okay, so now, you know what we're going to do? We're finally going to start working on making people happier. <laughs> Hang gliding is a good one because that, which I can only just unlock now, but that is got a really small footprint, so you can put them pretty much everywhere. Ray. Workers must be freed of oppression, Presidente. The yoke okay. of tyranny must be... Uh, I'm going to build a prison. I definitely need a prison anyways. So let's build the prison. Somewhere in a good spot. Maybe down here. They can have a nice ocean view. Maybe not. <laughs> Where can we put you, prisoners? I don't want to stick you there either. You know what? I can put you. The wealth from health no, I can't put you anywhere. You are just a big building. Get the free freaky lip plumping with every nip and tuck. Hmm. Where can I put you? <sighs> maybe I'll stick you. I'll start start putting some stuff over here. Maybe prison over here. I can fit you. Even that's tough. I start putting down some more mines. So now that the pharmaceutical company is built, we can change the work modes so that if we don't want to have them use oil, we can have them use sugar instead. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to powerful placebo, and they're going to use sugar to produce their um, pharmaceuticals. So while I'm at it, I'm going to add a sugar plantation right next to them. If I can fit one here, which I can't, not right there. Maybe over here. Well, I'm going to find a place for this, that's for sure. I'd have to start turning these into upgrading these, maybe. So we're not producing a ton of sugar here. So maybe I'll upgrade this guy. Modernize you. And now I am going to need more electricity. That's the only problem with um, upgrading everything is the electricity cost. Alright, so now I want to start building some more 
power generation devices here. So let's see. Uranium. Um, yeah, I think I'll build one of these. Where am I producing uranium? I think over here. Yeah. So we're going to maybe see if we can find fit this over here, which of course it's going to be. There we are. Yes, we can. Good, good. Put that right there. And maybe connect the road up here. No, can't do that. All right, that's fine. Energy efficiency is a there we go. So I'm going to put this on high priority build because we do have other buildings that people are trying to get built right now. So the prison, do I have the prison built yet? No, we're going to put that also on high priority. I do have some money coming in, so I'm going to put down a plastics company right here as well. Thanks for your help, Presidente. Remember, listening to me is always the right thing to do. Okay, so now I, I want to start putting in some more living quarters for people. So I'm going to select the urban development edict here, which is going to reduce the construction cost of residential buildings by 50%. It's going to run for about five years. So this is great when you plan to do a bunch of residential buildings at once. Not if you're just doing like one or two here and there, but if you want to do a huge um, build of residential buildings, that's when you're really going to start to um, when it's when it's going to pay off to do this. So as much as the people enjoy, this is going to be what I'm working on here for a minute. So what I do want to put down is kind of some bunk houses, some apartments, and then um, some tenements. Mostly because those are going to be some of the better ones to put down for housing happiness. So I'm just going to place them here and there and everywhere, wherever... Um, Either there's space or where there's a lot of shacks. I kind of want to put them where people want to live. So such as like right here. I might do one there and then one here and leave some space open. Perhaps for a park. And then some bunk houses. You want to place those kind of around where more of the poor jobs are, such as the plantation or the mines. Unless they're upgraded mines. I may want to also put down just a couple modern apartments. Not a, not a ton, because right now we only have a few people who would um, take the up those residents. of oppression, Presidente. The yoke of tyranny must be lifted so the albumen of justice can run. Alright, so... Modernize the mine. We can do the modernize the mine thing. We'll modernize this gold mine over here. The citizens are demanding elections, Presidente. It seems that they uh -oh, want the election time again. So, so let's see. We're going to acknowledge the housing. Happiness is pretty down, which we are actually currently fixing. Environmentalists are super pissed off with us. Uh, I'm going to blame no one and promise nothing. So as you can see, um, since the environmentalists are so unhappy with us, they're giving us an ultimatum here. So 
they want us to build one wind turbine. And if we don't do that, um, they will start to protest at industry buildings and blah, 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 power plants, nuclear plants, and, that, and that's really going to mess us up. So the good thing is, is I purchased from the broker a stage of distraction um, in order to bypass this um, demand here to build a wind turbine. So I don't actually have to do it. I can just stage a distraction. I only have one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and Exports, use it. Prez. Who doesn't love export? And the world is an odd place, isn't it? One day's friend is the next day's enemy. The world. You put the earth first and now everyone is happy. Or they would So, which is perfect because now I can get $5,000. Okay, and I can go back to the broker and see if, which we do have another one. I can purchase another stage of distraction, which I went ahead and did. And that's the only thing I'm going to buy at the moment. Um, so what I could do is the envi I think the environments, the environmentalists will like us a lot more if we start putting down more parks and stuff. So that's something we can work on as well once we get more money coming in. So as you can see, you would want to kind of place them in the red areas, which is Pretty much everywhere at the moment. So I'll just try to stick some right now around where I can. I'd like to think that we're New crazy laws have finally crazy. Now through Corkins can relax. If no use will get belly, you must be a good person. In the past, progress marched on. The lights are so tired. In the future, progress is gonna holler. Alright, so we did build the Spy Academy, and what we can do is send them on some heists right now. So something that I always like to grab is the Coliseum here, because then the overall happiness of citizens only takes into account the food and fun happiness, which is huge. So we can let's send them on that mission there. And I may want to send the commando garrison out to heist the um, Taj Mahal as well. So we will just start those. Looks like we have a lot of available trade routes. Boats is taking a while to get done. Let's see. EU is just not happy with this. <clears throat> so I do kind of want to send a lot more... trades to them either importing or let's see if we can import anything from them doesn't look like it so what i kind of want to do is i want to improve the overall love of us from the superpowers so if i hit diplomatic super party here in the edicts it will increase the standing of each superpower by 20. which if we go here and we look at what we're at right now before i do this i do want to go here to the china um embassy 
and we're above 70 so i can request financial aid from them which is going to immediately drop the, uh that number i'm sure the good citizens of Trop so first off let's find them okay so here they are i'm going to ask for financial aid it's going to drop it to 52. so the reason why i did that first is because um obviously it drops and then I can do the edict when and raise it right back up. So now it's back up to above 70, but so are all the rest of these. That's above 80. I'm going to request financial aid from them. I'm going to request financial aid from them. And can't yet do it from them, but I did improve our um, relations with them pretty good. They were pretty low. So now it did cost me, what, 20000 to do it, but now we're up to almost 70000 So now I do want to keep the relations up here with the, the EU. So I want to kind of... None of these are very good trades still, so I might want to wait a month before I do anything with them. Let's see, I could do cigars... Let's see, what, what do I want to do here? Cigars with the uh, China wouldn't be a bad one to take. Okay, so one of the edicts I do want to enact is the child allowances. Uh, I probably should have done this earlier, but what this is going to do is it's um, children are not accounted for when determining the economic wealth of a family. So if your children don't work, which they shouldn't, uh, their lack of income does not determine your wealth basically so this should increase everybody's Do you know what is popular with the people wealth i'm Families. is what i'm assuming that does everyone loves so it does cost some money though all right so we are finally starting to make some good money from our industry it took a while but we got there so now what I'd really like to do is start putting down some hang gliders, some entertainment buildings, and start really, really working on the happiness of um, pretty much everybody, the entertainment and, and all of that. Put a few more hang gliders down. I'm going to put several of these down, actually. So we're going to do some of those. We're going to do a cabernet around here. A really good spot for one. I want to do a gourmet restaurant. Um, I'd like to do a nightclub. Could have I could have fit you there. Actually, I will cancel this. I'm gonna try to put the nightclub there. Cancel. Yeah, let's put the nightclub right around here. And then we can go in and put a hang glider right around there as well. So let's see. Now we did just get an attack from the rebels. I want to go in and I want to arrest some Let of these guys. Uh, if I can. Arrest you. Arrest you. Can I help you? Did I forget something? Hola, how are you today? Si. Please excuse me. I want to arrest some so of these crazy. criminals as well. May I just squeeze past, please? Nice weather. What did he mean by that? You look kind of familiar. May I help you? Did I forget something? So good to see you. Are you lost? All right, so those guys are about to get arrested. I would like to go in and change the work mode here to convict later labor. So that way I start making money from people who are in the jail, arrested. And I'm going to change this one as well, convict labor. I'm going to bump up 
budget for these guys. I'm going to start randomly upgrading a lot of my mines. Not all at once. You definitely don't want to do them all at once. The design of the hyper submarine was perfect, Presidente, but it was sadly built to 180th scale. It can only hold a kumquat. Okay, so we can either spend 15,000. This is for one of the world wonders. So I can either spend 15,000 or I can del deliver steel and uranium. So I'll just do, go ahead and deliver because I don't want to spend my money. Okay, so this is an interesting demand. They want a movie theater near the U.S. Embassy. The U.S. Embassy is right here. There's really no place to build it. So what I would have to do to get this done is to relocate the building somewhere where I can um, have enough space to build a movie theater. So perhaps over here... Now available on the Tropican Health Service, laser eye surgery for those who simply must have laser eyes. And then eyes. I have to unlock the movie theater, and then we'll put that right there. And then that, once that's built, this, this will be finished. I can either take the money or the Swiss bank account money or a blueprint. Minister of Defense. Recommended by the conservatives. So that would be this person right here. Conservative candidate. I can hire that person right now. Thanks for your help, President I can go Jay. in and I can take Remember, either the money or the improved the right conservatives standing. Which I think I will do that because I think they're always pretty much down on me. So we'll take that. But then I can immediately go here. And I can... Fire them and take back my broker candidate. Okay, so let's see. Complete the espionage knowledge raid through the spy academy. So we can do that by going down to the raids. They are in the middle of heisting the Colosseum. But even still, I can go in here and select the espionage knowledge uh, raid option. And so once they're done with their raid here, they'll immediately go and do that one. Export electronics. So in order to do this, I need to make sure I have built an electronics um, factory, which I have not. So we do have some money to unlock it, but not the money yet to build it. So at least it's unlocked. An impromptu vandalism competition ended in victory today. For the and I just got enough rebels. money to be able to build it. And so I'm going to put this somewhere. Here's a good spot. I'm going to put down some of these overwatch towers. And maybe a drone command as well. If I can find a good spot for it, there that is. I might have to put it over here. Reporting in. The blockage has been flagged. Okay. So one of our industries is kind of slowing down a bit because they weren't getting enough um, logs over here to the lumber mill, which then goes to the shipyard. So and that's because um, we didn't have enough workers. So I just bumped up the budget here and I upgraded it so that um, the efficiency is increased and reduced the time for saplings to grow. So those are both upgraded right now.
My grandpa used to say, "Get a gun, make a plantation, agents, Rome, execute the population." So I'm just going to go around and look at the upgrades that I can do right now since I'm starting to get some money in. So I think that's going to increase efficiency or um, decrease the resources that are used. I'm going to upgrade. Efficiency, yep. So anything that's going to um, increase the efficiency or um, decrease the resources that are used, I'm going to upgrade. Efficiency, yep. Increase the quality. Job quality is a good one, too, to do. Job quality, increase efficiency. Yep. And you do want to, when, you increase, when you're upgrading these buildings, you do want to make sure you're paying attention to how much um, network balance you have. Because if you accidentally upgrade too many and then you go under zero, all those buildings are no longer working for you. So if you don't, if you don't immediately get some more electricity going, then it can be a huge disaster for your industry. Reports of downtown vandalism are greatly exaggerated. Their fashionable, new, distressed architecture style is apolitical and proves nothing anyway, the palace says. Okay, so I do believe... Oh, no, not yet. We're almost done with these heists for the world wars that we sent. Okay, so... I'm going to start building more, like maybe a skyscraper hotel would be good. A luxury hotel would be good. I'm just going to start throwing these in where I can over here in this area. Put in some parks also. I do want to build a roller coaster finally. Roller coaster here, there, and everywhere. A good spot. I kind of do want it to be next to a road so it makes it easier for people to get to it. So, okay, yep, yeah, we'll put it right there. Uh, while I'm at it, um, let's make sure that the electricity is getting everywhere, so it looks pretty good right now. Let me zoom out. Yeah, so it looks like everyone is pretty much um, getting electrified, except for maybe over here on this island. So I'm just going to put some of these substations down and extend the electricity out. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here and I will continue in the next video and we will get through a lot of these little missions here that we have piled up. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and I will chat with you guys next time.